this is the final part of our Lombok food journey. We're just leaving Anandita Villa and moving on to the next one. We are currently here at the Anandita and going all the way here to Villa Suppy. Check out the length of this driveway. Hello, thank you. Nice to meet you, I'm Joel. Wow, this place is massive. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Joel. Nice to meet you, Sakulin. We're just going to do a tour of the villa. Villa Sapi is a six bedroom villa. It's set on this huge coconut palm acreage. I'll show you these amazing rooms a little bit later, so stick around. We were treated with a beautiful healthy lunch, a chicken salad with a lemongrass salsa. Succulent and plump chilli prawns with fresh tomato and onion dressing. And for dessert, a modern take on the Indonesian dessert called Nagasari. And now time to relax. Been given these this little package. They're very special, thin. I think see-through underwear. They're going to wear. <coughs> this is an actual house where they used to harvest the rice and use it as a storage place. And now it's a massage room. Time for a massage. Let me show you more of this incredible villa. First, the master bedroom. That's my room. The room is very modern in design. It has polished concrete floors and it overlooks a pond. Right through here, there's a large bathroom with twin vanities and plenty of storage space. Now, check out this bath area. It's all open and like something from an interior design magazine. It's overlooking the pond and the ocean. Check out the size of this shower head and all in open tropical surroundings. Mmm, I can smell hot bread. Freshly baked. Okay, let's see what the chefs are up to. Here we are at Vila Sapi. And Chef Stewart's gonna cook for us some traditional Indonesian dishes. Yes. What exciting dishes have you got for us? Uh, for the starter, we have beef salad, traditional beef salad. Yeah. And then for the main course, pepes ikan, peas wrapped in banana leaf, and some cassava leaf as well inside. Very special. Okay, look forward to that. Yeah. The beef is seasoned with chili, ginger, galangal, lemongrass, salt and pepper, and it's seared on a griddle pan. For the dressing, we add lemongrass, chilli, galangal, ginger, garlic, palm sugar reduction, vegetable oil, red wine vinegar, lemon juice, chopped coriander and hot chilli. Some iceberg lettuce, a julienne of papaya, the beef is sliced and placed on top with more papaya and drizzle with that aromatic dressing. What a beautiful dish. This fish is white snapper. It's cut into cubes and mixed with traditional paste made from galangal, turmeric, garlic and chili. Coconut milk is added, salt and pepper and it's mixed. It's placed on cassava and banana leaves with tomato, chili, local basil and spring onion. It's then wrapped and secured with toothpicks. The ends are trimmed and it's cooked on a hot griddle pan for around 15 minutes. For the vegetables, there's carrot, cabbage, long bean and bean sprouts, plus some shallots, garlic and chilli. 
a squeeze of kaffir lime, some of the local chili paste with a little coconut milk and it's mixed together. It's plated up and the rice is moulded in cups. A sauce is made with the local chili paste and coconut milk. The fish is cooked. One of the leaves is removed, exposing the fish. An amazing combination of flavours. It's a new morning, and today's an exciting day because we're going to visit a local cooking school. All right, time to give these things a go. It's my first time. Let's try and stand. Here we go. Why is the board wobbling so much? Whoa! I'm off. Stop wobbling! For breakfast, we have fresh juice, sausage and eggs, fresh fruit and croissants. We're just walking from the villa, right next door, and there's a cooking school, so we're going to check that out now. Wow, that was such a surprise. I expected an empty room. My name is Dini Milanka. I'm the third grade here, and I'm a big fan of you. And I'm following all your recipe. And last time, when I was um, studying here, yes. I cooked all your menu, not only your menu, one of your menu, which is a I can't say, chicken calabrese. Yes. Italian, yes. Italian style. Tell me, yes. Yes, and uh, I cooked it here, and you the same time you said, well, done. That's good. Because I follow all your recipe and it's really good. I really enjoy your uh, page. And until now, I'm still following you. Oh, thank you. That's, yes. that's very nice to hear. Yes, I have, of course, yes. Dini also come to here, it's not for the job. He won't learn cooking for his home. Right. So yeah. yeah. So that's important to cook for family. Yes. Of course, yes. Mm. Family for family. Yes. And thank you for. Um, been here and I like really love to see you here. I'm very nervous to see you. I'm so proud to see you here. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a My pleasure. pleasure being here. Thank you. Thank you. The cooking school is part of Villa Sapi, which is available not only for the guests of the villa, but also for the local community. The trainees can be youngsters looking at becoming a chef or anyone who wants to increase their home cooking skills. They also teach you about hospitality. What a fantastic idea. And now, get ready for an amazing dessert. This incredible mango souffle. We start with egg whites and sugar, which is whisked in the mixer. Some fresh mango is diced and placed in sugar lined molds. Mango puree is added to the whites and it's mixed. It's then spooned into the molds and shaped. 
mango pieces are then inserted into the mixture. They are cooked on very high heat for 10 minutes. The plates are then artistically decorated using melted chocolate and mango puree. They are garnished with fruit and fresh meat. Very nice presentation. Dusted with sugar and served with ice cream. Wow, what a treat. Okay, now I'll show you the other section of this villa. A contemporary industrial design with two more swimming pools. There's a semi-outdoor lounge area overlooking the pool. An industrial chic bedroom with wooden deck and swimming pool. The bathroom overlooks a pond and the beach. And I love these bamboo outdoor showers. We're now back at the main section of the villa. And if you like tennis, there's a tennis court. And there's even a secret room. Let me show you. You won't believe this room. Now this room is a bedroom, but it can also function as an office with beautiful garden views. There's even an interesting staircase, but this just goes to the roof, so I'm just gonna check that. There's actually nothing on the roof, but you'll find a shower in the center. Can't get much fresher coconut water than this. Using the freshly picked young coconuts, the inner membrane is removed. It's cooked in water and then drained and sliced up. The traditional spice mix is made from shallot, garlic, chili, galangal, turmeric, candlenut, and shrimp paste. It's chopped up very finely. It's then fried in a little oil. The water is squeezed out of the coconut. The finely chopped chicken meat is fried in a little oil. Long bean is chopped and added to the coconut. Long bean pieces are plated up and the spice mix is added. The chicken is added and it's all mixed together. It's seasoned and drizzled with kaffir lime juice. This is sliced garlic, shallot and chilli. It's fried and also added to the mix. It's plated up and garnished with fried shallots and fresh coriander. It's locally a special occasion meal. A new experience for me. Healthy, delicious flavours and great textures. We also had crispy fried chicken noodles. And for dessert, a beautifully presented pandan banana crepe with caramel sauce. The villa also has this incredible retro style media room with home theatre. Just a 
about to set up for a barbecue night tonight. They've got the band that playing some music on the beach. Very nice. Now, originally, I was supposed to be here with my wife, but as she couldn't make it, I took along my friend Richard. But I never expected a setting like this. Well, as you can see, this is probably the most romantic setting I've ever been to in my life. And I'm enjoying it tonight with my good friend Richard. <laughs> Cheers. Yes, we had a good laugh about it. But I can imagine how much fun this place would be with a bunch of great friends and your family. And of course, your wife. After appetizers, we had chicken satay with a salad, followed by a pumpkin soup with crispy croutons. And for main course, sea bream on mashed potato with gremolato sauce. And we finish with a chocolate pudding. The next morning, a final swim and breakfast before leaving this tropical paradise. Thank you. For some behind the scenes moments, check out my Instagram account. Thank you, And a special thank you to all the staff for such a memorable stay at Villa Suppy. Thank you. See you guys. Bye bye. I'm feeling very sad having to leave such a beautiful island. But it's not over yet because there's one more thing I really want to do. You have to pay or no, 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 pay? No, no. Do I look like royalty? <laughs> It's common practice for all the Lombok girls to learn how to weave. If they don't know how to weave, they won't be allowed to get married. Now they are taught to weave from the age of 10 to 15 by their mothers and grandmothers from generation to generation. And it takes around one month to handcraft each piece, working seven hours a day. <laughs> Hello. Nice welcome. They're just waiting for us at the airport. Well, that's it, guys. My journey in Lombok is now officially over. We're on our way to the airport, and then I'm going to fly straight back to cold, wintry Melbourne in Australia. But it's been a great adventure. Oh, that's good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Check out the leg room, and this is economy. <laughs> and we're back in Bali for our next flight. Back to Melbourne now, back to the cold, wintery Melbourne. This was a great adventure. And a special thank you to Elite Havens for organising this trip.